Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rubiduck and today I've got another redstone creation for you and this time I have another world record. This is the world's smallest flush with the wall triple piston extender, beating the previous record by, by Piggy Pops by 4 blocks. So let's just see it in action. So there's the extension and there's a the retraction. As you can see, very derpy. So I'm just going to go out and say that although this is the smallest, it's direction sensitive, it doesn't work in bucket, it's really derpy, it uses torch burnouts, it's probably not very it's a cord conditional and things, it's just a really really bad design. So I would still use Piggly's design if I was to use one for my survival, this is purely to be the smallest. So there's the extension and there's the retraction. I will be doing a tutorial, so sit tight for that if you want to see it. But yeah, it's three, three deep, three blocks deep, four blocks high, and not including the wall, it's five blocks long. But I think you should include the wall because it has a tripwire hook on it. I mean, yeah, so technically six long, which makes it 72 blocks, but if you don't include that, it's 60 blocks. Um, yeah. But, I mean, what, what extender is good without a wall? If it's flush with the wall, you're going you're gonna to have a wall, or you'd use a smaller design, wouldn't you? So, on to the tutorial, and because this is such a small design, I'm only going to be using one type of block. So, I'm just going to do it in quartz, because it, it, redstone shows up nicely on it. Now, before we start, I'm just going to have to say, this only works facing, so the block will be pushed out towards the um, south or west, so... I'm going to do it facing west, because that's what I did for the other one, so one, two, three. So it can face that way, or it can face that way. It's up to you. If that doesn't fit, then I'm sorry, but use Piggly's. Actually, no, Piggly's doesn't work. It's, it's basically this tripwire setup that we've got that buds things and doesn't update in the right time and things in different directions. So just place that down. Now to start off with, I'm going to place a trip wire. So place one block diagonally up from that back piston, and then a trip wire hook on that block, and a trip wire hook two blocks away from it on the on the wall, and then get some string, place it there, and that will should join them together, and then you can step on it, and things will happen. Stuff and things will happen. Now for the extension circuit, it's really simple. I'd like to thank Tommy Videos Eleven, I think is his channel. I'll put it in the description. He came up with this extension circuit and basically everyone uses it for flush wall designs now because it's just so simple. Um, this is what makes it direction sensitive though so bear that in mind. If you want to find a different one that does exactly the same thing then go ahead. But just place a piston with a slab on top and this dust facing into the back piston. You just look at that and copy it if you need to. So now for the slightly more complicated bit of this design, we use a torch burnout to do all these movements with just a few flickers and I'm actually very surprised I got it to work with just one torch burning out. But yeah, let's just show you how it's done, shall we? You need to place a 40 repeater coming out of that lever, then a dust here, torch on the side of that block, and block on top. We're just going to extend this to stop the torch from spazzing out. Because one good thing about this, not only does it update the torch, but it keeps it from randomly flickering while it's extended. So just do that, and then you're going to want to come down two blocks from the bottom of that torch, block there with the redstone on top, two blocks out like so, one block up, and then another block there. So you have this shape. Then two two tick repeaters going along like so. And then a 4 tick repeater pointing into this block here. And that's half of the circuit done. Now for the next bit, you need to place a block up from there, redstone on top, and then a block there, block there, block there, block there, in that checkerboard pattern thing. Now you need a 1 tick repeater, no, 2 tick repeater and a 1 tick repeater. And that should be the whole circuit done. Let's just give it a test. Yeah, it works. Um, so as I said, this might not be working for you at the moment. It is, 
it's a little bit buggy. Chances are it won't work for you because that's how Minecraft works and I wish Mojang would fix things like that but I understand it's not easy. But you can see just how few resources this uses, how simple it is. Didn't take me that long to make but that was partly luck so I just went, uh, ran random repeater timings. It does do that but it should fix itself every time. So if this isn't your survival you're going to have to be prepared just for standing here hearing random noises.